I love that movie, Airheads. And, you know, <laughs> I, I, and I'll tell you why I go back and really appreciate that. And Airheads, by the way, it had a radio theme. You guys were in a rock band. You and Sandler are in a rock band. You were a you big won- influence for that movie. Just so you was know. I? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Are you kidding? None of that was lost on us. Well, 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 you guys invaded and took over a radio station yeah. in order to get your band played on the radio. That was the premise. Yeah. When I think about that movie and Chris Farley was in it. Yes. And I think Chris, yeah, Chris Farley, you know, I go back and watch his old Saturday Night Live bits and, and, and when his appearances on Letterman, I mean, that guy. And, and in your movie, he was playing, in Airheads, he's playing a cop. <laughs> and just those little facial tics, those little moments where his boss is, the head cop is yelling at him. <laughs> it's so fucking brilliant. And and what is it? It's was it because Farley would just commit to the character? I think is that? It, I think it, because he and Sandler always had a like not a rivalry but a competition going on to see who could crack each other up the best. And so <laughs> one night we were sitting there and Sandler sitting next to Farley, and Farley. <laughs> Looks over at Sandler, and Sandler, he wears shorts, basketball shorts all the time, and he pulls his shorts up, and he's yanked his nutsack down on his, <laughs> on his thigh. So just so a piece of his scrot is sticking out, and he points at it, and he goes, I got this growth. <laughs> and Farley's like, it looks like it itches. He's like, I know. <laughs> Is there a paste or something for this? And these guys would do this shit with each other just to see who would corpse first. And that was always going on. And I think it's because I know when they became writing partners at SNL that they had a pact going, which was, um, I'm not going to be afraid. You don't be afraid. I won't be afraid. We'll go forward together with courage, you know? And, And that's really what they did. And I think... Comedy, what little I know about it, and I'm not a comedian, is really about confidence. You have to right. really own what you're doing. You've you got to know what you're doing. Did that movie make a lot of money, Aaron? No, Heads, or no, it didn't. It, it, it was, wasn't successful. It was the huh? studio, like, meh, you know, they, they didn't really like it that much. They didn't. Uh, Steve Buscemi had a t shirt on for the first three days that said, Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and and the studio <laughs> and the studio saw the dailies and they were like ah no and, you know and they like changed the shirt but <laughs> the movie takes place in one day so like right. when would rex go and change his shirt he doesn't but you just notice that <laughs> the blow me shirt's gone because that was too, <laughs> that was too spicy 